Hey hey everybody, this is Larry, this is day 26 of the Lico Daily Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and then we can solve this problem together. Uh, Timo attacking. Uh, yeah, in League, in League of Legends, is it even Timo in position? Okay. Um, you may assume that I, and Okay, so at 1 and 4, what does that mean? Attacks and then Ash is poison. Um, now for attack and another two sides. So you find. Okay. So basically, in a way, you're trying to just figure out how many overlaps are there, right? Uh, okay, it just seems like a math problem. Um, yeah, right? Because, yeah, yeah, I think it's just a math problem and keeping track of uh, things that, you know, don't overlap. Uh, the end is only up to 10,000, okay. So I think we, I don't know if it's sorted, but let's sort it to begin with. And then for each number, uh, let, yeah, let's go poisoned. This is equal to zero, say, and then we turn poisoned length, uh, and then just for time period. So for t and time series, um, let's see. Let's just say last poisoned is equal to. I don't know, it doesn't really matter, right? Like negative whatever. Okay, so that means if last poisoned plus duration is um so if T is after this, then then T is you go to um last poison. Oh not oh sorry, mm. Or last poison is equal to uh, T plus duration. And that means that we're poisoned until from... No, we're poisoned at T, we, we added duration. So then that means that poisoned plus is equal to duration, right? Otherwise, what does that mean? That means that uh, T minus duration is less than last poison or something like that. Uh, so I'm just trying to do the formula in my head. Um, and that means that we only need to get the delta. So that means that we have, um, so we want to get, um, okay. So that means that is T plus duration. Oh, maybe I, I did this for, hmm. yeah. Okay. If the current T is greater than the last poison, then yeah, okay. Uh, so in this case, T plus poison is. Uh, uh, sorry if I'm, I'm again. I'm solving these live, so uh, so I'm gonna go over the problem uh, after I finish solving it. So don't worry if you're not following quite a bit. But basically, right now I'm just thinking about okay, uh, like each state, right? So T plus duration is going to be the next one, right? So. That means that this uh, minus last poison is going to be the new duration, right? And yeah, so we add this, and then we set uh, last poison is equal to t plus duration. Uh, of course, you have to do it after the math. I think that's maybe it. Um, Seems pretty straightforward in math. And I'll do some visualizations to help out a little bit. Uh, and, and maybe fix the... Yeah, fix the uh, typos. Um, and then you know, just try a few numbers. Uh, so this should be just 18, right? Because it just starts from 8. Uh, okay, fine. I had an extra comma. Now it should be like 19 or something, right? Uh, or 18, because it starts in 1 and not 0. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then maybe just try a couple of edge cases, like one number. Uh, duration is always going to be positive, okay, or non-negative. Uh, don't know what that means for 0, so let's try that as well. I think maybe just zero, but just want to make sure that this case, because they will give you the case anyway. All right, that looks okay. Let's submit and 
Let's see. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, I think this is just math, and... Oh, they already give it to you as sending, so you don't have to sort it. You know, I always sort just in case... Not always, but sometimes if I didn't notice it, I, I sort anyway, because it's, it's... Usually, it doesn't take that much time if you do it only once. Um, but yeah, the idea here is basically... Um, going left to right, let's say you already sorted the array, or it's already given to you sort it. Um, basically, you just have these intervals, right? So it's kind of like a... Um, a sweep line algorithm, but basically you have one, four, and two. That means that you're drawing from one uh, to three, and four to uh, four to six in this case, right? And in this case, uh, obviously there's no overlap, so you just add in the, the twos. But then, so th there's only one other case if you sort it, um, which is because the duration are constant, which is that they overlap, right? So let's say the duration is four, um, and then now you have now you have four to eight, right? And what that means is that if your duration starts at four and you want it to be at eight, that means that um, that means that at five, you only need to do the math between eight and five, right? So that's basically what I do here. Um, yeah, play around with the math, uh, draw some visualization. That's what I always recommend for these uh, type of problems, even though it doesn't seem like it's a, a visualization problem. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, this is pretty okay. Um, this is linear time, constant space. Uh, oh, well, I guess I sort it so it's n log n, but, but because it is, um, because they do give it to you in ascending order, technically, you could actually just skip this out so that it'll be uh, linear time and constant space. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about this problem. It's a little bit uh, mathy, but yeah uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord and i will see y'all tomorrow bye bye